Well, guys, let's think of something fun to talk about. Oh, yeah. What should we talk Just, about? Well, uh, I just saw one. I have many miss you play Robin is what I just saw on the screen. <laughs> What's that? I just saw, I have many miss you play Robin. <laughs> so really like how many I years did you play Robin on How I Met Your Mother? Why don't we just turn this into a back and forth interview? Okay, 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 let's, let's do it. Okay, um, I'm so glad that I, I'm drinking a beer. Um, I played, I was, I was on that show for nine years. And I what is your what is your favorite memory from that show? Um, like singular or just general vibe? Because I think I'm living in a world of general vibes. So okay, yeah, general vibe is fine. General vibe was our crew. Like we had such an amazing crew on that show, and we also we just worked together for so long. I mean, we had babies that were born we had uh, people pass away we had like weddings and and all yeah, sorts of like life. like life right and and what is weird is that when i'm in it i'm like we're gonna be together forever and it was kind of fascinating uh i mean for me i moved to new york right after so i just kind of lost touch with people but i just hold such a wonderful um, I just remember them all so well and just had such an amazing time. So I miss that. I think it's, you know, you know how it is. Like even on our show, it's about like how you spend your day. And we also have an amazing crew on our show and everybody is just so hardworking, so excited to be there. So like just stellar people. And I think that makes all the difference. How long was, was New Girl? I can't hear you anymore. Oh, it's because my thumb was over the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, seven years, 150 episodes. Um, wow. And I still am in touch with those people almost daily. Like today, Lamorne and I were texting a lot. And I did a joke that I'm actually pretty proud of. Um, so Vulture gave me the account to their Instagram. And like, what do you mean? They gave you like a password or something like that? Yeah. So this morning at 10, I had to sign on to the Vulture Instagram. But all day I've had access to it, which doesn't seem like a big deal. But it's actually a really weird, intimate thing. Like yeah. Instagram is not something I think too much about. Yeah, but whenever yeah. I open the app, it's my Instagram. Right, right. And, so, and I always only really follow the people who I'm on a show with and Care Top Live. Um, so those are the only people. You are, you are really obsessed with Garrett Tom. He's the best thing on Instagram. And if you're not watching him late at night, you're missing some of the greatest entertainment. <laughs> if you ever I, can't sleep, just, just tune Garrett in. Garrett Top Live and see what's up with that cat. Because I'm going to tell you what, he's going to take you to on a ride you're not ready for. It. Is he... Is he going lot? Is he doing like, is he posting like this? Is he just having conversations? Man, Carrot does everything. He does great vids. He goes name? live. What's that? What's his real name? Scott. He's Scott. Yeah, but he's Carrot Top Live, man. And he plays drums with his shirt off. He works out. He also does a new move that I've been incorporating around my house when I try to get my family to listen. And he goes... <laughs> He's it's a little a more aggressive when it's to your face yeah, than to a screen. Or if it's late enough, if it's late at night and you got the phone close, it's aggressive. He'll yeah. go, "Hey, what's going on?" And I wake up and I'm like, "What's up, Carrot Top? Show Bye. me, show me everything." <laughs> show Is me. Carrot Top in Las Vegas? Well, he's in Florida now, but okay. his show's out of Vegas. But he's got a boat down in Florida, and he's staying. He's living on a boat right now. I don't know if he lives there. He's got a couple of mansions that I see him drinking in a lot. Um, but I know he spends time on a boat when he's not lifting heavy weights. Just getting ripped. <laughs> he's the coolest. So, but anyhow, I'm used, to checking, to <laughs> I'm used to checking my Instagram. And today it's there. So I did something that was funny where that I'm proud of where I DM'd Lamorne Morris from Vulture. And I said, we here at Vulture think you're stupid and you see how weird. <laughs> because I just hope in like a couple of days he's like, Vulture wrote to me and they hate me. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and I had to stop myself because I was about. I sent you a DM too. I just I was about yeah. to go nuts. I had to you be like, should have. It, it might yeah. not be too late. They haven't changed that password yet. Dude. Just go on a rampage. I was gonna have I was gonna ask Damon Wayne Jr. to send a shirtless pic, say we were wanted it for New York Magazine, to see if I could get him to do it. Yeah. Or like <laughs> you've been nominated for Vulture's sexiest <laughs> man of the year. Dude. Everybody here at Vulture in New York Magic thinks you're like super cute. Will you send yourself, it's for Corona, it's during this crazy period, something in your underpants, something let's, where you look really cute. Spirits. Do it for the people. <laughs> Everybody's doing it. Um, all the guys in like, you know, all the Chris Pine and Pratt, all those guys did it. They did it. Fun. They've already done it. We're, we're going second tier now. <laughs> so that's been fun, I guess. Oh my God. Well, um, how have you enjoyed as Dex Paris on the show Stumptown? <laughs> what is this world? Um, oh my Tell God. us about I your experience on so Stumptown. Much. Um, it's been a blast. You know what? It, 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 it has been, it actually has been very strange to go, uh, you know, from our, we had a pretty crazy schedule for a while there. At least some of us did. And, <laughs> and, um, to go from that into this, it's been nice to kind of sit with it all and, and look back. And um, I mean, we did it. I feel like the whole season was such an accomplishment for all of us, that it yeah. was just like a ton of work, um, but really something to be proud of that we that we did it. You got such a great cast. I love everybody so much. I think it's such a great group. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, it's, a, it's, 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 it was a lot of fun. Did you have a good time? You know, I did in, As in a box looking, man. Oh, the well, the box man. I had to cut my I cut my hair. I don't have box man hair anymore. Oh, that's right. That's right. Um, the hair was just too long. I didn't know what to do with it. When the the first week of quarantine, my hair was so high and big that I was weirding myself out in a way that I just took some scissors and finally felt like, all right, we need to cut the box man off. But I, did, you know, honestly, it was a really enjoyable year. Yeah. It was in looking back in that, you know, who knows when we're going to go back to any sort of production. Yeah. Who knows what the hell is going on in the future? I, I am a believer that the world is obviously going to come back and we're all going to eventually go back to our lives and we're going to all start with gratitude and then soon just be back in our regular own existence. But in looking back as a job on a show on network television, it was a, it's a great group of people. I really like the cast. I like the crew. I like every, I was like, man, that was, it was a really fun eight months. Yeah. No, it was, it was. And it went by strangely fast, actually. Yes. It, I it felt the same of, way. It kind of moved. Yeah. You I know, think the 18 you know, like, episodes is great. Yeah. You know, it'd be kind of fun. I don't know if people can write this right now. Hi, Daniel. <laughs> a friend of mine just wrote something. Um, uh, any ideas for season two? Should we get some pitches? What's that? Should we get, should we ask people for some pitches for season two? Yeah, where are you seeing questions? They're not on the, on the bottom of your screen. screen. Yeah. They should, they're right over my face. They're like, uh, they're right down sure. below. Like flower 92 said, oh my God, that was me. Um, all right, let's get some, how about some questions? Musical okay. episode on Stumptown Pass. And let, well, we could do like an opera. That could be that could be dope, dude. Oh, do you ship Gray and Dex? Go ahead, Colby. Do you what? Do, oh, do you ship? Go ahead, Colby. <laughs> Send them somewhere. I say yes. I say we ship them to Hawaii for an episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just saw. It. Does the show go to UK? And the answer is yes. April twenty second, it drops. So tune in. Tune in. Tune in. Kobe, yeah. All right, you want to read the next one? Okay, Robin, don't break our heart. Please sing the song. Everybody's asking me to sing Let's Go to the Mall. Like, it's, it's, it's just everybody wants me to do that. Do you that. know it? I, I'm putting you on the spot. Do you remember it? Yeah, I, I think I, I definitely know the beginning of it, but I don't Come know. Come on, give us some heat. Know. Give us some heat. <laughs> and I don't want a I'm kind of shy six. Give us a goddamn 10. <laughs> no way. We're all, in, we're all living COVID-19. Give us a damn 10. <sighs> okay, hold on. Let me play it on here. I need some, I need some music with it if we're going to do it. 
But if you're going to do it, Colby, friggin' do it. You know what, Jake? Stop Go being, hard. Stop being like, stop peer pressuring me. So. Go hard. You're just doing this, so fuck you, Jake. <laughs> hey, language. Are we not allowed to swell? Swear. Or swell? <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, no, I'm not going to sing this song. It is so upbeat. It is, it is so crazy. Just give us a little heat. Come on, Jessica. Come on, Tori. Let's go to the mall. You won't be sorry. That was awesome. That's the beginning of it. By the way, good You're thank you. That's the um, you know, it is, I keep talking about, I keep talking about making it like, um, you know, an acoustic version, but this is like the, can you How would that? the acoustic one go? This is the. So that's. Is that you? That's me. What would the acoustic one st sound like? <laughs> Just curious. Did you ever sing on New Girl, Jake? I did not. Well, that's a missed opportunity. You know, I'm not a uh, song and dance man. That shocks me. That shocks me. I think you're underestimating yourself. Thank you. Well, I'm actually doing a long play. In my 50s, I'm going to do a musical. Oh, really? Do you uh, have any idea what it's going to be about? It's a stars, uh, stars Born. Oh, remake, gender, switch it. Switch it. <laughs> yeah, no, I want to be Bradley Cooper, man. <laughs> Actually, I'll be Lady Gaga. You know what I'm actually going to do? Star is Born is a one-man show, but a movie with no edits. I'm going to play both characters, the drunk uh, and, and the, like, singer-songwriter. Wow, I would pay some good dollars. Well, I'm, I'm actually, I had it scheduled, but then Corona hit. I was going to be doing it at a little black box in uh, downtown <laughs> Pasadena. <laughs> it's not too late. You could let people in, like, ten at a time and have um, social Well, you know, I talked to... My cousin who runs the place, it's his little theater. We talked about doing the antibody test, but it just became a nightmare. But it cost me a, a lot of money to rent that space, so I'm a little bit in the hole. Okay. Well, hopefully season two. Yeah, it's been a real shit situation for me. <laughs> <laughs> I put but over you know what? You gotta $750, follow your heart. dollars into this place. You so. got to follow your heart, and you got to follow your gut. Yeah. I, I, I feel really excited about a scene where I'm Bradley Cooper – and I'm a drunk, and I'm y'all. I'm like, hey man, get away from me! And then Ooh. I just bolt out, you know, the hits from that movie, which are such as that was the problem. I was hoping to have something. But... <laughs> it's just surprising to me that you went and you like rented it, and you really financially committed. Yeah, well, here's the here's... the songs. I'm gonna be honest with you, and this is why I'm embarrassed. I did not rent it. I have not seen it in, in its entirety, but I put three quarters of a million dollars into a production. But what I will say, what you do have is the Bradley Cooper accent from that movie on lock, bro. Yeah, I mean, it's the scene I'm excited about and the scene that I have seen is when he takes a piss at her when she wins the uh, big award. And I want to go like, yes. hey man, you know, yes. I'm a big star too. Yeah. Just, yeah. That's a cool scene. That's a cool scene. That's a cool <laughs> moment. <laughs> That was a really good, really good emotional moment. It really got yeah. me. Yeah, so like that's something I like a lot. All right, next question. I see uh, Nick and Robin with hearts. Not a question. Two characters. Robin. Uh, Sometimes uh, you can just say people like Will Hosaka. Hosaka. What's been your fave quarantine snack from Dars? Sorry, five eight six. Um, you know what? I will say it is, I, I don't know if you would agree with this, Jake. It's just like pasta all the time. Like, what are you going to make? Pasta. Well, there's been, there's been pasta every single night at our house. It's just, the kids like it. It's easy. It's there. There's a yep. lot of it. Who I was when I was younger, where you're like, if you don't finish all your food, wrap it in tinfoil and reheat it. Yeah, totally. So... That's been something that, you know, I do think there's been some positives out of this. Yeah, I think that that is what, is what you should be focusing on. I think it's an opportunity to, like, check in with all the stuff that you want to work on yourself. Or It's also, like, it's also, I, I don't know about you, maybe you would agree with this, but I, there are times where I feel like I'm more social now than before all this happened because... I'm constantly like reaching out and like checking on people 
or like FaceTiming, set Zooms with friends like around the world so we could That's all cool. hang out. And I thought that that was sort of an inter a new interesting thing. Like I, I talked to my, like my whole family once a week. Like that That's is pretty nice. an unusual thing. That's nice. So there are some, there are some good things to, to take yeah. off, you know? Yeah, we, I haven't been doing that because we, I haven't really had good internet reception until yesterday. <laughs> right. So this How is one of my first. The city life. Yeah, it's different. This is one of my first Skypes. Okay. And I got to tell you, it's nice. Uh, question for you. Behind you, there's a photo of two shirtless creatures running on the beach. <laughs> you know what? I, you know what? I saw that and I forgot to move it. Okay. Well, you know what? This might be interesting. Not this photo, but this might be interesting behind it. Because I'll show you what this is in a second. But okay. this is, um, this is from How I Met Your Mother, y'all. My house. Uh, this was on our bar. Let me see if I can, um, hold on. See, and then you go like this. So you go like, bar is open. That says bar is open. Bar oh, is that's cool. His last call, and then it's la then the bar is closed. So this was on our um, that was on our bar, and then I don't know how he's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, um, that was on our bar uh, it, at um, uh, in the in in the show, and it would sort of we'd have to change it for whatever time it was. Um, I like that. It's really I, I, cool. And we were allowed to take one thing from the set. Cool. With the show wrapped. And I chose this guy because it was always over. I was always looking at it. I was always looking at the, the bar. So it was always in my visual and I was always looking at it. So I took it. This photo um, is me and my husband <laughs> <laughs> doing, a nice uh, doing a polar bear swim. Have you ever done one of those? No. So it's very Canadian or it's very like Nordic, but um, so it's, that was probably, I think that was December 23rd. So it's when it is like the ocean is ice, wow. ice, ice cold. And that's at my parents' place up in Canada. And um, we, you hit the sauna, like they had like one of those like three person saunas and we all like kind of stood in there and then you bolt into the ocean and you dive in and then you, you immediately come sprinting out, which is what, which is what that is. That's fun. It's pretty fun. Yeah. Pretty fun so I, I got a match in terms of the, uh, how I met your mother in the room thing. Oh, let's see it. This, that drawing. Self-portrait? Well. <laughs> That's good. Is it a drawing? It's a drawing that my wife in real life made for me when we first started dating. Wow. Uh, and when I got on New Girl, the set director, the uh, set director, Michael Whetstone, I believe his name is, I hope I'm not saying it wrong because I know the man and I like him, asked if I had anything I wanted and I brought in that so that he made a copy of it and put it on my character's wall. Oh, that's cool. So I got to, while I was doing that show, I was in the, my character's room was used a lot. So I got to have that. And when we wrapped, it's all like framed nicely. And yeah. I brought that one home and brought it into this room. That's really nice. It was nice. Yeah. I like taking uh, something from each job, something small. Like a, like a kleptomaniac. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> a sentimental one. Did you really, take anything too. from the set of Stumptown? I did. What'd you do? What'd you take? Besides um, our friendship. Thank you. On the last day, I went back into the bar and I took this. Come along, I'll show you. Ooh, nice one. Yeah, pretty cool. You That's know, in the bar, cool. those are all in the background. Very cool. Yeah, so those were filled with water. I took one of those home and I thought like, all right. That's that not true. I didn't take, I didn't take any. Well, I had the thought, who knows if we come back, you know? Right, it's true. So I thought, if we don't come back and it's all over, I, I didn't do that with a lot of movies I've done where you yeah. go and you do an indie. Yeah. And then it's all over and you look back and you don't, you, you know, it's just gone. Yeah, it's true. How about this? Do you have an indie movie that you did in the past that you think you're really proud of and you just every once in a while you'll think back? I like that one a lot. Yeah, and, and this also is a conversation starter. Um, Unexpected by Chris Womberg. What's that? Oh, no way. Nice. Yeah. 
Um, I, it, it, was, it was such a wonderful project. And uh, I bring that up because uh, Joe Swamberg was somebody that uh, Jake has worked with. Um, and uh, Chris and Joe used to be in a marriage together. Um, and at the time I was shooting this movie with Chris in Chicago and um, it was just such a wonderful experience and I, I loved it. I loved it so much. Um, yeah. Yeah, Chris is really great. Both she, Chris and Joe are both really talented people. And I really like that movie. I think that's where we met you and I at Sundance. Is that where we met? I thought we met in London for the first time in person. No, we'd met before that. Maybe not. I remember because I was at some party for that movie, and I definitely remember talking to um, what's the name? What's the dude's name? The the guy from Workaholics. Oh, um, oh no. Um, yeah. <laughs> I started this by doing it because I know him and I know his name. I know, uh, but he and I, I I'm a fan. Um, of, I'm a fan of his work. I'm going to I'm going to google it cuz I can do that. Um he's not on the first he's not on the first year. Oh my god, he's so, <laughs> he's so hard to find. <laughs> um anyway, what a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you by the way, it shouldn't be hard to to find. I know. What are you googling? <laughs> I did we're, oh, oh, I see where I went wrong. I what did you do wrong? I want to hear. <laughs> Okay, I googled workaholics, but then I clicked oh. on, but then I clicked on executive producers. It's Anders Holm. Oh uh, yeah, of course, Anders Holm. Yeah, uh, I remember talking to him and Chris. Okay, well maybe we did meet. Maybe we yeah. did meet in um in uh in passing. But what I will, people will enjoy the other meeting. I think. Yeah, that's right. We'll talk about it. Um, uh, Jake and I have both. Um, had the honor and privilege of working with uh, Mr. Tom Cruise. And I had just finished my movie with Tom and went to London to do reshoots for it. And Jake was up shooting The Mummy with Tom. And they were working out uh, in what was dubbed the Pain Cave, which was a trailer, of, a gym trailer. And um, and I, rem I remember going in and just kind of seeing you and being like, buddy, I know. This is, this is, <laughs> it is, it is. This is, it's a lot the of whole thing. It is a serious, there's a yeah. serious regiment, a serious like process of, of, of working out next level. You so know, I just remember checking in with you and being like, how's it all going? Yeah. You know who should make a monthly speech about, or a weekly speech about where we're at as a world? 100%. He would tell us yeah. that we can all beat this virus. Yeah. And then we might be able to. It's true. I he agree. would say, like, Jake, Kobe, you just got to do 100 squats. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I got to tell you, I would feel a lot better after. I never remember what is that workout where, where you each take a bit of it. I can never remember the name of it. And you know it. Where it's Am like, I? no, no. It's like, I'll do 50 push-ups and then you do the next 20. Oh, we didn't do those. Oh, you didn't do those? No. I can't remember what it was. It was like supported rounds or something, but it was something like we all have to accomplish one. Oh, it's like a team. Yeah. And then it was like whoever was stronger at <clears throat> each one would sort of dominate in that category and try to get the number. All right. So what did you dominate in which category when you I mean, saw him working out? <laughs> what are you dominating in? Well, I mean, upper body, lower body, I mean, uh, middle body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just went out and killed a middle body workout. <laughs> um, quite honestly, he did most of it. He did most of it. Um, but uh, I don't, I, I think it was, I was a squat girl. I think okay. it's squats. I got a question for your fan base. Oh. Because I, I think okay. the message, I don't see any messages on mine from Vulture. I see yours. I got a question. Are you very famous in Turkey? I think that the show was, I think How I Met Your Mother was very, very um, popular in Turkey. I have heard that before. But do you keep seeing people are like love from Turkey? I'm just saying a lot of Turkish stuff. And yeah. I got to tell you, my, with all due respect to Turkey, my social media experience is not like Turkish based. That's cool. Yeah. 
it's um yeah they're they're responding now there we go they're they're i love turkey i mean i have heard that i actually experienced it wasn't in turkey it wasn't a, a turkish um production but after our first season and i would love to find it again but they redid the entire pilot episode of how i met your mother but in like danish or russian wow. or something and they aired it at a rap party and it was scene by scene shot by shot incredible and but just with total they looked like us but they were speaking a foreign language and um obviously with different people but it was it was fascinating but i, I it did uh, to be a part of something that people like so much right yeah i did a uh a movie called no strings attached and oh yeah oh yeah and uh they had dubbed it over in italian and I know that because I think it might have been my brother who sent me it. And he said, listen to the dude during your voice. And it started and there's Ashton Kutcher talking to Natalie Portman. And he's like, you know, in Italian, he's like, bada -boo -da, bada -boo -da, bada -boo -da. and then Natalie Portman in like a super like sexy, cool voice goes like, boo -da -boo -da. and then, <laughs> you know, Ludacris is there and he goes like, boo -da -boo -da. and then there's something in Italian and then Greta Gerwig is cool. Then my guy talks. <laughs> I'm not joking. Everybody was pretty normal. You know, funny, fine, nice. Kutcher goes like, Buddha, Buddha. my guy talks and goes like, Mama, Diva, Buddha, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> it was so shockingly hacky that I thought, like, how must they have seen my performance? Oh my God. I didn't think I was doing the hackiest version of what oh I was doing. God, that's so great. But that's it hit me. Great. You know, it was one of those things that it hit me. I thought like, all right, I got to rethink my decisions because if I was Italian, I'd be the biggest hack in the country. Yeah. But you know what? They're, you know, I wouldn't, uh, I think that they're just trying to find some extra funny, but it would be interesting to see how much that affected the whole performance. That's true. Because, yeah. I don't know, maybe they're just going for some big swings. There's a Vietnamese restaurant in Atwater that's my favorite restaurant called Indochine. And I Jake, go there. Wait, check it out, guys. Well, I've been there forever. And I was going there a lot while I was in. Do, this, that movie was one of the first big jobs I booked. Mm -hmm. So I'd like sit in there by myself and read the script. And my character's name was Eli. And he had his own arc with Greta Gerwig. So I thought like, this is a lot of responsibility. You know, I've got like right, a right. love story arc. Right, right. And I was, I was sitting there for hours just thinking about it. And the, one of the bus boys walked up to me and we were talking about it. And he's like, you're always studying it. What's the thing about? And I explained the character and I thought I was doing it in a lot of depth. And he goes, so you basically, you're like, you should go with the girl. The girl doesn't like you. You should be with her. I like pizza and beer. And I, when he first said it, I thought like, <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't understand <laughs> the layers of depth of Eli with no last name. <laughs> and when I got home, I had a beer and I thought my entire role in the movie is just, you should go with the girl. I like pizza and beer. Oh my God. Oh my God. 